So it's coming. The Megaflopolis is here, but here's the problem. Which one? Now, to be fair, Megalopala, whatever it is, is um, it's probably going to lose $100 million. This is going to be one of the biggest. Like, it's world famous now. I can't think of a major film that lost this much money, and it's not going to get it back. I'm more puzzled with the audience, but we'll get to that. So the basic spiel is the film cost $120 million, And yes, the legends are true. Francis Ford Coppola used his own money. And the first rule of film business is never use your own money. But God bless him, Francis was crazy enough. He sold off a part of his vineyard. Only a part, not the whole thing. And he got himself a couple hundred million. He could spare and said, I will spend a hundred million dollars. That's just the film. He had to pay for the marketing too. He even had to pay for distributing the film. Like in distributing films, distributors pay you. So I'm not the biggest John Campia fan, but he had it right. And it was devastating. It is devastating. Like his takedown, I disagree with the latter half, but the first half, just on the numbers, it's shocking. It is shocking how little money this made, even comparing it to other flops this year. This is quite literally going to be the biggest flop maybe of the entire decade, maybe of two decades. It is insane how little money this thing is making. I want, I want us to sit in the corner and think about what we did. I want you to think about this for a second. Borderlands. More than twice as many people went out to go see it than went to go see the new Francis Ford Coppola movie. Now, lest any, now I'm laughing and stuff like that. Lest any of you... Yeah, however, I'm just going to concentrate on the facts because just the empirical fact that it made $4 million is like, that is astonishing because although I didn't like the trailer and I've seen the film, the film is more interesting than the trailer. I will say that. It is a very weird, funny film. I'm not going to do the whole review here, but I would say, and again, I don't like Francis because of what he does behind the scenes. Not for this film. He may be okay with the behind the scenes of this film, but he has a very long, bad track record of scandals, and he is a lot more greedy than people think. Like, he will sue a lot of people for no reason. It's disturbing. So I can't really pay for the film because he's a bad guy, but at the same time, I'd have to be honest and say, is it worth the price? Yes. And what's weird is the trailer actually got quite a lot of traction. It got millions and millions of people and saying, oh, I'll give it a chance. So the critics hate this thing. Like, there's only a minority of critics that are like, yeah, it was good. It was interesting. No, most of them are like, this is stupid. This is terrible. And the audience now, overwhelmingly, even the audience said, yeah, I'm going to give it a chance. Like $4 million. You have to calculate how many people that is. That's like, like, Campy is correct. This may be around half a million people went to see this and only half a million. Imagine you paid 50 million more than that <laughs> and made five times less. <laughs> this seriously has got to be a top 10 biggest flop of all time. Mm. Now remember, I'm not talking about the quality. Madam Webb, Borderlands, and these were major flops. People did not go to see those films. Those were insane disasters. Even The Crow, even The Crow, which was reviled by most of the fandom and a lot of critics hated it. And I also hated The Crow. The Crow was really terrible. But at least The Crow, Borderlands, Madam Web, all those films, some of the worst films this year, some of the worst performing films, not even the quality, just the worst films, got like a massive audience compared to Mega Flopolo, whatever this thing is. More people were willing to support Madame Webb. More people were willing to give The Crow a chance. And The Crow is insane. The Crow was made for half the money. Literally, it's half the cost of Megalopolis. And by the way, this is a big problem for Francis. Like, he is okay with some of the marketing. Like, the marketing got lost in a controversy. I'm not even going to cover that controversy because that's a whole other spiel. That's a whole other video. Otherwise, it'd be like a Mauler three-hour review. The marketing for this thing was not great. And Francis is not technically responsible, but he literally is responsible for most of this film. He paid for the film. He paid to make it. He even paid for some of the marketing. He hired the marketing and the marketing messed up and he's paying to distribute it. So quite literally, this is a film where almost everything is him. He directed it. He wrote it. He made it. He produced it. He put it out there and only half a million people 
we're willing to see it. Even those people, right? They're saying this thing. Yeah, I gave it like about an hour and then I got up and left. So even the people who paid for this, a lot of them were like, yeah, I gave it a chance, 30, 40 minutes, and then I left. So that's devastating. And listen, I do admire Francis Ford Coppola. He is one of the best directors of all time. He's made some great cinema. But that is stunning that despite, like, a star-studded cast, this cast is insane. Audrey, Adam Driver, Lawrence Fishburne, these people and other projects, even projects which fail, get two to three to four times the audience. Like, this is insane. You have a great star cast, whether their performances were good, we're going to put to one side. Uh, the performances, to me, were very mixed. It's a very mixed film. But Jesus Christ, so this is not just a failure for him. Like, this is going to be the worst film any of these people have ever had. So in a weird way, he's actually done them a big favor because they've reached a low point. They will never have a film that failed this miserably. Weird thing about this film is I'm the audience for it because I am. I am a true cinema bro. I am super addicted to auteur cinema. I support Zack Snyder. I support Joss Whedon. I went to see Chris Nolan and Oppenheimer in the theater. I paid like $20 for that film. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ, $21? Yeah, $21. I have no issue with going to the theater paying for a good film. And I'm sorry, I still think Multiverse of Madness. I know there's this weird internet people who think Multiverse of Madness is the worst film of all time. I'm sorry. Sam Raimi did a pretty good job there. Not perfect. Not, you know, not super great. It's not Spider-Man 1 or 2, frankly, but it was still pretty good. I am here to support Otor Cinema. I like Otor Cinema. I do support directors with a vision. I want to become a Hollywood director with a vision. And you can't deny Francis had a vision with this film, but Jesus Christ, it cannot be, oh, maybe people aren't going to see cinema. No, Deadpool Wolverine made tons of money. Oh, maybe we don't support Otors. No, Christopher Nolan made tons of money with Oppenheimer. Most critics loved Oppenheimer. Oh, maybe the audience doesn't like Oh, the artistic cinema. No, because David Lynch still makes films. Denis Villeneuve. I mean, I didn't like Dune 2. I thought it was our, uh, it was more bad than good, but that was still solid auteur cinema. I thought it could have been better. So no, the problem is, listen, either Francis has become really unpopular or the film is just, you know, even for its own audience, not other audiences, not the mainstream, just for the audience it's intended for, people are like, nah. Not going to give it a shot. And listen, it, maybe a miracle will happen. It will make more money the second weekend, but probably will make less money. So literally, Francis just threw away $100 million. He would have been better off making a very small, good film for like $10 million. Market it for $20 million, He would have made $100 million. So this is just his ego just went rampaging out of control saying, I have a vision and I will pay $100 million. Well, you did, and only half a million people have supported so far. I'm waiting for the whole numbers, like maybe globally it did a little bit better, did a little bit more, but Jesus Christ, at least within his own country, most Americans are like, yeah, Francis was good in the 70s, 80s. Dracula, I like Dracula, but maybe his time is over. That's stunning. One of the biggest names in Hollywood cinema cannot get more than half a million people for his passion project of 20 years this is either a sad day or just a day of memory i'm like jesus christ wow 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 borderlands ray how much did borderlands make in its opening weekend 8.6 million yeah. 8.6 yep the biggest flop of the year it made more than double the megalopolis did 